fucking hoes and popping pillies, man. I feel just like a rock star. All my brothers got that gas and they always. Yo, what's good, guys? I hope you guys are all excited about the giveaway this weekend this person is gonna win these exclusive game cleats brand new never worn actually they're worn once by phase attach but they're still fresh now if you don't know how to win or you missed it make sure you guys go check out the video on how to win these cleats and if you're watching this video you got to go check it out soon because it's snapchat exclusive so you guys gotta go figure out how to win before i start the video i'm gonna choose my shout out winner for today let me just say when i start reading comments I can't stop replying. I swear I replied to over 100 people last video, and the video before that, over 300. And so, I mean, I'm just showing you guys love, which is also why I'm doing this giveaway is because I love you guys. Anyways, the shout out for this video goes to, I feel like this deserves a drum roll because it was hard for me to choose out of all the people. But the shout out goes to my boy, Josh Clefman. Shout out to you, bro. He said, squad, keep up the great work and keep inspiring people like how you inspired me to keep playing football. Thank you, bro. I promise you I will continue to keep making these videos to inspire you guys and help you guys out because I love and believe in each and every one of you guys. And let me just give you my daily motivation for today. Everybody was put on this earth with a purpose. Anyone can be successful, but not everyone's willing to put in the work to be successful, which is why not everyone is. So you guys have have the choice to choose if you guys want to work grind or just live an average life and most people in this world choose average and that's all right i'm not saying there's anything wrong with people going through something but the people who fight the people who are strong and fight through adversity and get through the tough times are the people who are successful but yeah anyone can win a shout out all you gotta do is join the family join the squad all you gotta do is turn on the bell next to the subscribe button which is below this video and then comment squad and then i'll randomly pick through the comments when I make my next video. You guys, it is December, the last month of the year. Isn't it crazy how fast it went by? A lot can happen in a year. I gained over 100,000 subscribers in just one year. I'm telling you guys, your guys' life can change any day. Any day your guys' life can change. Just keep grinding and success will come. And I'll be here motivating you guys all the way until each and every one of you guys are successful. I don't care how long it takes. I'm going to keep motivating you guys till the day I rip. But let's get into the video. So if you guys don't know or didn't see my last video, I made a video about how to get faster. Go check it out if you haven't seen it after this though. And when I made the thumbnail, I put my boy Vic quick six on the thumbnail and i also put my homie john ross on the thumbnail as i was making it and i saw that i put john ross on there i was like what's going on where is this dude at i haven't really heard much of him lately and i was like damn i was really excited to see this guy ball out this year so i did a little research and i just wanted your guys' opinions on this because i love talking to you guys and just seeing what my fans have to say i figured videos like this is a good way for me to communicate with you guys and, and just see what you guys are thinking so i just want to see what you guys have to say but i know you guys love my little vlog day in the lives with my two nfl bros Michael and Cepho, what's a day in life like with us? So stay tuned till after this video and let's talk more about this. We out here, early morning grind. Early morning grind, we out here about to get it. I'm with Rector, my boy Cepho. About to get some work in. It's about 7, 7.10, had to be over like 6.30. But we out here at Bellarmine. We're gonna show you a couple of lifts we do. We do it right now we're doing bench. Got Michael on the bench. Cepho on here. And right here, my favorite. I like to do lunges with these dumbbells. So let's get it. Hide money. You can't hide money, huh? Must be nice. What? What? <laughs> Halfway through the workout. 
almost finished. We got some rows and then some pull-ups. What are you about to finish on? Hey man, finishing always got to finish with my arms, you know, got to do that. I'm going to do the yeah. bicep, triceps uh, push. We do 20, 20 pounds, 20 pounds each. You do triceps for a minute. Oh, are you trying to do the finisher? A minute, little finisher. Hey, triceps. I'm going to get on that with you. Yep. I'm going to get on that triceps with you. Triceps a minute straight. Yep. Take a minute break. Triceps right again, a minute straight. Let's get it. Straight to biceps, same thing. A minute straight. Keep going. Yeah. Lay. They gotta pay, like it's back in the day. Racks in the what? Racks in the safe. Look at my face, up there with the grace. Steps that I take. Oh, look at the beaver move. You know it can chew, huh? Hey, if you guys want some muscles, hey, get on this workout. My boy is getting me big. Yeah. Yeah. You're you right. Showing those muscles, bro. Yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Just finished up. Just finished up lifting. Now we're about to go do our daily meet. Meet and eat. Me and eat. Tapos. Me and eat. How you feel? I feel wonderful. How about you? Feel great. Feel got a little pump in. Love that. Love that <laughs> early morning grind. Yeah. Okay. Scores. You Taylor Swift fan, bro. Lately. Oh, that's right. <laughs> and we're back. It's not bad. I mean, if we go like there. <laughs> Hey, shout out to my boy Sefo. Look what he got me. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Would you like some coffee, please? Yeah, I love it. See, that's right. You love waking up and drinking coffee. Thanks, bro. Christmas present? Yeah, yeah. Christmas present. Shout out to the boy Kyle Adidas, man, for hooking it up. Yeah. Shout out to Kyle Kyle. Good boy. Uh, John Rock. For those who don't know, he was a college football player at University of Washington, one of the schools that I wanted to go to and commit to out of high school. He was a very highly recruited NFL scout, and let me just show you guys why. He's moving. Where'd our number go? I don't know. He's limping. 4-2-2, no way. So according to what we just- 4 and he limp. Yeah, so he ran the fastest 40 yard dash ever in history, which made no sense to me because this dude looked like he was jogging. That's crazy. I mean, he was moving. It looked like he was just chilling, relaxing. And I mean, I played against this guy before and he is fast. I played against him a couple of times. But the crazy part about this is he said, after he ran the fastest 40 yard dash ever, he said he wasn't even running his fastest. So you're telling me you ran this 40, fastest history of all 40s, not at 100%, that's crazy. But overall, major props to this man, major respect for this man. And like I said, I was excited to see this guy play because because to me, he was another Deshaun Jackson. Growing up, Deshaun Jackson was my favorite football player. So I was like, you know, same size, about the same speed, maybe a little bit faster. So I'm excited to see what he does. But then he got to the NFL and what happened? Is he hurt? Is he benched? I don't know. So I was watching football this season and kind of just forgot about him because he wasn't playing that much. And then when I was making that video the other day, I saw the thumbnail and I was like, bro, what is going on? I need to see this man play. So I looked up some stuff about him and it's crazy. It says his coaches have been upset with his performance lately. This article from week 10, not that long ago, read that he hasn't played in more than six snaps a game this year. So I'm like, why? And the article is also saying that he let the team down and apparently they said he let the team down because of this. because he wasn't hustling on the field during this play. And I have the article right here. It says, the Bengals had a third and five on their own 36, less than a minute into the second quarter. Dalton fired a deep one to Ross, but Ross slowed up on his route. He didn't expect Dalton to throw him the ball, even though he's the fastest player in the NFL, and the Titans had him in single coverage. 
The pass went incomplete and the Bengals had to punt. I mean, when I go home, sometimes I coach the kids at my high school and I get mad at stuff like this. Like when they give up on route and I've even been in the position before where I don't think the quarterback's throwing to me, so I slow up. So this is why at the next level, you guys gotta always hustle. Always pretend like you're getting the ball. That's one thing my coaches always said. But it's crazy to me because I was really excited to watch what he does in the league. But I was just curious about what's been going on with them. So apparently the coach said they weren't very thrilled with that week and they just wanna see him keep progressing. So I mean, I think it's kinda just a mental thing. He, he, he just needs to get focused, kinda get used to the feeling of being in the league. But yeah, I'm just kinda curious. I wanna hear your guys' opinions on this. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And also like I do at the end of every video, I gotta answer some questions. The first question goes to Nathan Dando. He said, Dockery Squad, thank you for making these videos. What app do you use to edit? Is it computer or iPhone? Now I use my computer, my laptop, Mac, and I use iMovie. The reason why I use it is because it's simple and it's easy to use for me. Um, whenever I try to download something else, some other software, um, my computer gets super slow. So I just stick with iMovie, it's convenient and it's easy for me. The next question goes to my homie, Nick Pennington. He said, do you think I will be able to work with you someday? Yes, I plan on working with as many of you as I can. My dream is to travel around and train with my subscribers, train with my fans, my squad. And so I'm gonna do that one day and hopefully soon, maybe this year coming up. That's it for the video, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, drop a like. And make sure you guys go check out that giveaway. It's coming soon. Much love. It's your boy Doc. I'm out.